Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a video on my hamster binder. Um, so I've been making this over the past few days. So it's just in a blue binder with a little black strip. So when you open it, it has this thing on the inside. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to write on there. But on the first page it just has all of my video ideas. Then the ones with the red dots next to them are the ones which I'm definitely making. Um, then we just have a lot of paper at the front. Um, so then we have a picture of a Syrian hamster. Then we just have a yellow divider. And then we have the information which I got off the Supreme website. So it's got things about handling and illnesses and stuff. And then next I've got information in here on how to identify a hamster. So a couple of people have asked me what type of hamster they have. So I was thinking about um, making a video or something to try and help people identify what hamster they have. So it covers things like ears and eyes and stuff. So yeah. Then we just have another blue divider. A list of foods which are safe for Syrians and dwarfs, um, a list of protein foods, additional foods which should only be fed to Syrians, um, so it's because of these contain quite a bit of sugar. Um, then we've got a list of veggies and food that should never be fed to hamsters. Then I've just got a little bit of information about each of the types of hamster. Then. I've got some information on hamster aging, um, so basically this is information on how to tell when your hamster is getting old and things you can do to just kind of look after them. And then I have an A to Z list of hamster health problems and stuff. So we have things like abscesses and cuts and things in there so it can it tells you like what you can do and stuff um, but obviously if I was really concerned say if it was like a lump or a tumour then obviously I'll go to the vet but if it's like an abscess or something then I can clean it up and sort it out at home um, so this is really good to have um, just so that you can kind of figure out what your hamster's got and then you can see if you could treat it yourself or if it's something more important that needs a vet sorting it out for you. Um, so it's got things about teeth in there as well and wet tail. Um, then we just have this black divider and then we have information on the Syrian hamster coat colours and patterns. So I have quite a lot of information about Syrian colours because um, I got the information off of two different websites. And then we have some more. And then we have this green divider. And then we move on to the Chinese hamsters colorings. Then we have information about the hybrid dwarfs colorings. And then Robert Vosky colours. And then we have Campbell Dwarf colours. Um, this isn't very good because I actually put this together myself. Um, so it's not the best, but you know. And then we have the patterns and coat types for the Campbells as well. And then we have the winter white colours and then I just have some information on how to tell the difference between a Campbell and a winter white and then we just have a little bit more information at the bottom about um, the different types of hamsters um, so things like the lifespan and the length they should grow to and stuff. Um, 
And then it also states what their colours are as well. And then we just have this pink divider. Um, and that's it. So I need to add some more things in here. But yeah, I've been working on this for the past few days and that's what I have so far. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick video on it for you guys. Just because I know a couple of people have done a video on their binders. So if you have any ideas on what information I could put in my binder then let me know. And um, yeah. So anyways, um, I can really recommend having a hamster binder. Um, the reason I started one is because I'm always finding really good information on the internet. And then I can never find it again. So, if you're like me and always find information and never find it again afterwards, I can really recommend in a binder. So they're really cheap to make. I mean, um, my binder was a pound and then my plastic wallets were a pound as well. But I've actually managed to print all of my information off at college. Um, because we have like a print imbalance thing with there. So I did have £10 print imbalance, but now I think I'm down to about 5 so, yeah, it doesn't cost a lot at all. I mean, if you don't want to print it out, then you can always just write them anyway. But I have really bad handwriting, so I didn't want to do that. Um, so, yeah, I will also be putting in how much a hamster costs in here, and then I'll be doing a video on that. And then I'm also going to be keeping a close eye on the hamster's weights, um, just because of it's something I never really thought about doing. But... A lot of people recommend that you keep an eye on your hamster's weight and stuff. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. Um, so I might make a video at some point. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.